Iowa and Kentucky ready to go in round two. Kentucky in the home white. Wins the opening. Saved by Sinano. Kick back out for two for Gabby Marshall. Those possessions, they use the clock, and that was something Coach Elsie said this morning. We've got to use the clock and get the right shot, not settle for just jacking up shots, as she said. Make sure they get the right, the right look. Hey, knockdown shot. Kentucky settles for an outside shot for Wyatt. Here's Clark in transition. Use the dribble to get free. Got enough space against Patterson to knock down a three and a great start for Iowa and an early timeout for Kentucky. Iowa had come ready to play, but Caitlin Clark leading the charge. Step back three. Here in the opening three minutes. Well, not just 0 for 4, but they're not even getting on the board. So Iowa doing a great job of getting one and done in Kentucky. Shadowed by Patterson. Drive won't go for Warnock, but again, on the glass. Blair Green also into the game. Good off the bench for Kentucky. Has to force up a shot to beat the shot clock and does so to get Kentucky on the board. Shooting woes continue, but at least Kentucky fighting a little bit more on the glass. They come up empty, and Clark is looking up ahead to Sinano. His key was to push the pace, but it's Iowa pushing the pace every chance they get here against Kentucky. Well, if that hustle play, that was... Well, you got to love the challenge that Coach Elsie put on Ryan Howard. She didn't want her to just be known as a scorer. She wanted her to be a better defender, wanted her to be, be a better rebounder. I know Caitlin Clark to the basket. Edwards quickly back the other way. Robin Benton into the game for Kentucky. She's been a good bench presence for them since transferring over from Auburn. Green with a strong take to the basket. I like the way Blair Green has come in and has been aggressive. Clark, <laughs> everything's falling for the freshman. Ten point lead. And Eric, she's been doing that all season long. Cut to the basket, reversing up is Tomi Taiwo, who provided a good spark off the bench in the round one win over CMU. And of the plan to, to try to keep fresh bodies on the floor. We saw what happens when Caitlin Clark comes off the floor. We saw that in the Central Michigan game. So trying to make sure, and she's going to stay red hot. She's been held out of double figures just once all season long, and she's already in double figures here after one quarter in round two of the NCAA tournament. Well, I think when you get to the NCAA tournament, Eric, your intensity level goes up yet another night. It's a great point because, including Clark, there have been six different scores for Iowa. That balance is something that really helped them in round one with four and double figures, and it's continued here today. Massengill gets her first points in the foul, but look at Iowa right away. Up ahead to Clark, tracked it down and put it in. Howard has Clark on the switch. Sinano, the feed from Clark. Added out by McKinney, but picked up by Clark. Pull up three. Of course. Of course, Caitlin Clark's got it going here in round two. The bad part of it is they have not been able to convert on the offensive board. Uh, yeah, I mean, they've been able to get on the boards because they've had plenty of opportunities. Sinano couldn't hold on to it. And here comes Massingill. Quickly up to Ryan Howard, who has her first field goal. And down low, Sanano working down low. Clark defended by Benton. Clark launches again. Clark drains another one. In the game against Central Michigan, when Clark came off the floor, Iowa got unraveled a little bit against CMU, but no signs here on the first possession. You can tell that, that they talked about it, they watched film, they watched Kentucky, and they are executing the game plan to a T thus far. Olivia Owens with the turnaround gets her first points. Inside of two and a half to go in the first half. Clark looking to be the facilitator finds Warnock who drains a three McKenna Warnock hits a three back out top to Clark defended by the freshman hunt 
Clark, a couple of good fakes to get free and drains another three point. Howard finds Owens rolling to the basket for two for that UConn team second half of the season. So that game coming up tonight, they get a shot for Howard to start the second half. And that's off the mark. But a second chance here for Kentucky. And there is Massengill with the take. Kentucky set up a play to try to get an easy look for Ryan Howard, even though the ball did not drop. That's the look that you want. But Caitlin Clark, continue. Just to clarify, yes, more dangerous. It's all relative, though, because her danger level is already at a 10 on a scale of 10 when she's got the ball. So then you try to find <laughs> other ways. <laughs> because there's nothing that she does not do well. I think the fact that Iowa got everyone involved right from the very start, at least getting a hoop from Warnock and getting a hoop from Martin and Sonano and Marshall, everyone contributed a little something. This is a pretty good Iowa team with plenty of weapons offensively. Uh, definitely Iowa came That's out. They were ready. I mean, attacking the basket. McKinney dropped off to Benton. Edwards knocks down the three and Kentucky closes the gap a little bit more. We saw it for Belmont getting their first tournament win and we've seen it with Caitlin Clark. And out of the timeout, Jasmine Massengill gets a steal, and Kentucky is on an 11 nothing run. Played better defense. Iowa literally getting their way in the first half, and that locker room tweet must have been tough, but on the comeback. The biggest comeback in school history. Oh, that's got to drop, but their defense on the way. And you know that will drop. And you know that will drop. Caitlin Clark. <laughs> The star for Ohio State. I know a little bit about Kelsey Mitchell. Uh, just a little bit, don't you? There's Ryan Howard trying to heat it. And Clark, who had the ball right now, what she's been able to do, 29 points thus far in the game. But it's the other players that have stepped up right there. You see it, and they just continue to take it. Tony Tyrell. Right. Patterson couldn't hit. Benton hit. And now Howard finds Owens. One thing we've noticed about Iowa, watching them these two games, Tamika, as Sonano works inside for two more, her first points of the second half. Now at the time that you can slow it down a little bit and get the shot attempt that you want. Sonano, basket that she made before, it was set up by the pace and the way that they play. Beautiful adjustment by Clark, the drive to the basket. I'd really like to see Kentucky, they kind of went out a little bit of a, a run at that moment, but I'd like to see them continue to attack. Ryan Howard was able to get that mix. Final 10 seconds of the quarter as Tywo brings it up against Patterson. Down to five. Tywo again with authority driving with the left. Today there might be some upset, and then of course you keep it going, so... Every team wants the opportunity to win a championship, and I think, especially this year, as Dre Edwards rolls to the basket, especially this year, and for us to have the NCAA tournament, for the women to be able to play, and Kyra Elsie gave big props to just the committee that allowed the opportunity for the tournament. Caitlin Clark with the answer. Clark has scored or assisted on 42 of the 72. Seven and a half to go, fourth quarter. Iowa trying to move on to the Sweet 16. Sedano, two more yeah. for her. But Sedano got it like that left hand hook shot. That's the fifth assist for Clark. Edwards continues to fight for Kentucky. Clark gets it back, extra pass, three-pointers good. Marshall, push the ball, share the ball, and so far we've seen it in two tournament games. Very impressive against Kentucky here today. Edwards, count it, M1. To allow herself opportunities to get open, and then the thing that I love the most when I watch her is how hard she plays as she knocked down yet another shot, sitting at 35 points now. Howard off the miss, but has her own rebound, closing out of four minutes to go. Edwards inside, two more. Good game for Dre Edwards. 
I think one of the more impressive things we've seen for Caitlin Clark, and it's certainly the case in this game, as Iowa gets Goodman to score, her first points in the second half, 13 of 20 from the field, 35 points, seven rebounds, six assists. She did what she wanted to against a team that made it their primary goal to shut her down. She led this team the way that she played, and I keep talking about her intensity because, yes, she was knocking down shots, but it's the way she was knocking down shots. Continue to figure out how to play good defense. McKinney back out to Howard, deep three. Got it. Howard's got the turnover. Two more points for Ryan Howard. I think they're having a shootout. I think there probably will be a little text exchange, just maybe with a link to a box score. <laughs> Howard out there in the final seconds, knocks down another three. You're looking for some points. Lauren Jensen lost the handle, and that will do it. The Caitlin Clark legend continues to grow.